Hey everyone, super excited to show you how to get the awesome Mac OS Ventura on your Mac today. In this video, you will learn how to download Mac OS Ventura. All right, let's break this down step by step, so it's super easy to follow. There are two ways to go around this. The first one is the App Store, and the other is through the direct link. What you'll need for this guide is a Mac computer for the App Store method, about one hour of free time, a stable internet connection, at least 20 gigabytes of free space. By the way, I'm using Mac OS Sequoia on this recording. From the description box below, let's click the App Store link. A small pop-up window will show like this one. Click the Open Link button. This will take you straight to the Mac OS Ventura page in the App Store. Once you click it, the App Store will open automatically on your Mac, and it should show the option to get Mac OS Ventura. When you click to get Mac OS Ventura, your system settings will pop up and start preparing everything for the download. Click the download button when prompted. It's like the Mac is getting ready to install the new system. Don't worry, this is normal. The download might take a bit of time, depending on your internet speed and how much space you have. Now, while the system is downloading, we want to make sure the download is as smooth as possible. This is where the terminal comes in. Open terminal. You can find it by searching for it in Spotlight. In the terminal window, type this command ping swcdn.apple.com and press enter. What this does is keep the connection to Apple's servers strong and stable during the download. It's like giving your Wi-Fi a little extra boost so the file doesn't get interrupted. Once the download is done, the shiny Mac OS Ventura can now be seen on the launch pad. It would be on the second page and alternatively, it can be found under the applications folder on your finder window. Are you ready for the method number two? Going back to the description box of this video, click the direct link and it will proceed to download on your browser. Now, while the system is downloading, we want to make sure the download is as smooth as possible. This is where the terminal comes in. Open terminal. You can find it by searching for it in Spotlight. In the terminal window, type this command, ping swcdn.apple.com and press enter. What this does is keep the connection to Apple's servers strong and stable during the download. It's like giving your Wi-Fi a little extra boost, so the file doesn't get interrupted. During the download process, if your Mac stops communicating with the server for even a few seconds, the download can pause, or worse, it might fail. By constantly pinging the server, you're ensuring your Mac stays connected throughout the whole download process. It's like having a little helper who checks in with the server every so often to make sure everything is still on track. It's also a nice trick if you have a slightly flaky internet connection, or if you're in an area with spotty Wi-Fi. The ping helps hold that connection steady until the download is done, making it less likely that the download will get interrupted midway. Once you downloaded it successfully, you may now close the terminal window, click the Install Package Assistant on your Downloads folder. This installer window will show up, click the Continue button. If you want to install this into a different drive, you can click the Change Install Location, then select which drive you wish to install it, then click Continue. To proceed, click Install, type your password once prompted. This will initiate the installation on your selected drive. Click the close button afterwards. From this prompt, it will ask you do keep or move the install assistant package to the trash. I will move it to the trash since I don't need it anymore. Once the download is done, the shiny Mac OS Ventura can now be seen on the launch pad. It would be on the second page, and alternatively, it can be found under the applications folder on your finder window. This video was recorded using Screen Studio. Check them up later. If you want to make a bootable Mac OS, you can click the video on your screen. Let me know in the comments which method you used and how your download went. Happy upgrading. <laughs> <laughs>